I believe we're in the South Hall now. I'm with Lauren Fix, the car coach. What are we looking at here? This is a beautiful Audi. This is a brand new Audi A8. This is spectacular. It's all about technology, it's style, it's classy, it's distinctive. It's about your individual personality. And that's what people want when they buy their car. I always say you are what you drive. Tell me about what people are looking for. They're going to come to the car show. What are they looking for in these cars nowadays? They want that seamless connectivity between their home and what we do every day with our phones, everything to get into the car, start it up, and connect. Kids want that too. Yeah. That, so, <laughs> but Audi has Wi Fi in their cars. They have for many years, and that's great. I have an old 2013 that has connectivity to it. That's what people want. They want lots of places to plug in technology. And you're seeing that as a trend throughout the show, whether it's beautiful A8s like this or the brand new Lincoln Nautilus, which I'm sure you're going to. To show all these vehicles together are something that people want. They want to feel a part of their car and to see that seamlessness. It's a great place to talk to your kids if they can get them to put their phones down. <laughs> so, you have an interesting take on autonomous cars, right? Self driving cars. We've seen a lot of the technology, but obviously, a lot of Car, car makers are kind of pushing that as as the way of the future. You have a different take on that. Right. I don't think you're going to see autonomous cars, and I'll tell you why. And there's a lot of us that feel that way. Initially, you're thinking this is great. Some of this technology keeps you safer on the road. Blind spot detection, cross traffic alert, around view camera, all that's great. But taking your hands off the wheel and letting a car drive on its own with other vehicles on the road that do is where you're going to have the problem. You're talking about government regulations. You have insurance regulations. You've got, of course, the hackers who are out there, and they've stolen a lot of Cars and that's why vehicle to vehicle in this current administration has stopped that communication. And then finally, the lawyers. They are absolutely <laughs> waiting. They're excited because the first person, God forbid, yeah. that gets killed because of an autonomous car, and it's over. We have Lauren Fix with us, who is a, really a car expert, but behind her is a car company local to LA that's mm -hmm. been here for the very first time, oh, Tesla. Mm -hmm. They're showing off their Model 3 here. I want to talk to you about autonomous cars because they say this is a future. You're saying autonomous cars might be a long way off. I think it's a long way off. There's four major factors to the reason that autonomous cars aren't happening tomorrow. The number one is you have to understand that the current federal government has said no V to V, which is vehicle to vehicle communication. They have stopped that technology because of hacking. So, number one, Factor is government intervention. They are going to make it or break it, number one. Number two is going to be insurance, which is going to be very high because you have to remember that right now on the roads, most of us can't afford nor will we afford autonomous cars, and it would have to be all autonomous cars for it to be safe. That would take about 50 to 60 years to get every vehicle off the road and to make it what some say, which doesn't make sense to me, illegal to drive, which is absurd because that's what we love about America our cars, our freedom. And then we get into the fun stuff. We get into the hackers. They are out there. They've hacked Jeeps in the past. They did it in Houston. They've done it in Montreal. They still have that ability to access the cars, hence the reason that vehicle to vehicle communications has been stopped. And the big one is lawyers. They are ecstatic to have autonomous cars because the first car that gets in an accident, and God forbid somebody gets killed, it's over because they are going to sue that car manufacturer to the hilt. Where in the line in the sand does it say? You are no longer responsible. The car manufacturer is, and no car manufacturer wants it. The insurance companies would have to get reinsurance companies in order to afford this. But car experts like Lauren Fix say true self driving worlds, well, it could be years, maybe decades away. Cars aren't, aren't talking to cars, and that vehicle to vehicle or V to V has been stopped by the federal government. So that will slow down this progression of this technology.